So, hey guys, Chaos are here. So, treasure map is over, but you're seeing me in the middle of a treasure map. This is me doing nav level 95, so a bit before the end. But I knew already at this point that I really want to use a video to talk about this treasure map as an anniversary celebration. Because I feel sad to say this because they did a lot of the things I wanted, like they brought back all the rainbow chests, like in the 8th anniversary for the treasure map, we had this rainbow chest all the time as well. One thing people might not know is that on the bonus map, the rainbow chests are better, like there's a bigger chance to get 1000 treasure map tickets and such, but that's another topic. But they brought it back, so I was happy with that, and they did something else I always ask for, which is to make it feel special. Like, back in the day, they could make treasure maps feel special in different ways. Like, change the map layout, you have a higher chance to get this stuff. Like, just small tidbits that made you feel a bit more excited than usual. And you could argue that Bandai did it this time, but the way they did it is so incredibly scummy and poor. So it just ended up making people salty, including me. And the thing I'm talking about is obviously what I call at least for the spot. And the spot is on the bonus map, uh, not between Kaido and Jack and Ulti here, but right above them there in the intersection where you can change path. If you landed on that rainbow chest, you could get something very valuable. You could get 10 copies of any tablet, still normal tablet that is. You could get some level limit break posters and most notably, you could get alternating pen. You could get a gold rush tablet, a gold super Tana tablet, and a gold final tap tablet. And this obviously made people go crazy. Like when we first saw the pictures from JP, uh, we thought it was like someone tampering with the image, like it couldn't be the case. But we realized pretty quickly that it was true. But the fact is that this really got people, motivated people, at least some people. Like overall, this treasure map was not very active and probably because it, had, it was just a big chore. The bosses took forever, they were difficult, they really wanted to use a new batch. Not everybody gets every single anniversary unit, so pretty annoying for them. But yeah, those who were interested in playing played a bit more just for the temptation of this but i had two very big issues with the spot uh, the first issue we can talk about that while i approach the spot like because step one is actually hitting that spot and it's actually a super big issue because you have to hit one specific tile and you might not know this, well, of course you do, but we have a compass here we press that is basically a dice where you can get any number from one to five. And this is pretty funny because this here, this is like the only skill element of this because if you're in this exact position with a one, you actually have a slightly higher rate of landing on the spot by going in the middle. This is because like, say you hit a, a two, you still have a chance. If you hit a three, you have a chance. Well, you, if you hit a one, like you have chances to recover and you obviously have the chance to just hit a, well, three is the one we want. You can just hit a three, like if you hit a three, when going to the right, you're not getting it. And then you might hit a five, for example, so you overshoot. So going in the middle is actually the best if you want to land on the spot. The annoying thing is that you do miss out on some pretty good rewards. And as I said, the bonus map has better rewards in general, but not as good as the spot. So let's go here in the middle then. 
So now we are in a pretty good place to land in the spot, but still very realistic we overshoot, like personally. I've only hit the spot like four times, I think, and this is like the 19th bonus map. So I've had very, very bad luck with hitting it. Let's see if we can hit it this time, I guess. Nope, we overshoot, so I missed it again. Will have been funny to land on it and get something cool, but it is what it is. With that, I'm going to pause the gameplay portion a bit. And let's talk about the spot a bit. Because that's the first issue, just landing on it. But the second issue is this uh, making people feel like they're going to have a realistic chance of getting something super valuable. Like, let's just focus on the gold tablets because that's what people were mostly hyped about. I haven't seen a single pe person get ultimate pen. Like, it might have happened, I've not been fully up to date with everything people have got. But I know people have got uh, one of each gold tablet at least. And I know that people on Global have got it, I know at least one Korean has, and if you don't know, if you have the Korean language that is the Global version, you can change your Global version to Korean if you want. So Korean is Global, if a Korean gets a gold tablet that is, it's possible in Global. But I was a talk for a long time anyway, like, oh, the, the gold tablets are not in global because nobody has got it. But for me, that was always BS. Like, I don't care what anybody says because fact remains, JP player base insanely much huger. So if there is something that is very unlikely to happen, it's more likely to happen on JP with more people playing. And... I think that's the main pe thing people misunderstand is that you are not going to get a gold tablet like someone will. It's kind of like the lottery we have during the anniversary, like you know that someone will win like what is it like 1000 games, but you know it's not you. Like someone will, but statistically it's not likely to be you by any stretch of the imagination. Someone will, you can't expect it, it's the exact same thing, thing with the rainbow. Uh, with the gold tablets on the spot. Let's take for example something other that is unlikely to occur, like in this Sugo when they introduced the alternate artworks. It was possible to pull alternate art artwork Luffy and Yamato. It r was roughly like 0.1% chance. Uh, maybe even, probably even lower than that. I think that's being optimistic. Way lower than 0.1%. But, despite being very low, we did see some people get it, like... Some people did get it, probably hundreds of people total have an alternate artwork Luffy Yamato. Because when so many people do something, it's still quite likely to happen. But what do we know with the gold tablets? We know that, let's say, 10 people across JP and Global have reported getting it. That tells us that the likeliness of this happening is way lower than anything we can imagine. I feel confident saying that we're talking 0.01% odds at best. And that's insanely low considering it's only once every five maps you have a chance getting it. And it's only a chance, it's a good chance you miss it as well. So in reality, it's just bait. To try and encourage you to play with the allure of getting something that you will definitely not get. And the thing is that the other stuff are good, but this mirage of the gold tablet has made us that oh, I got 10 of this very rare tablet. Who cares? Give me my rush tablet. Like, I don't understand why they did it. And what I'm personally most annoyed with is that it's just one single spot. Like, imagine if it was all of these four tablets in the middle at the end. If all of those had the same reward, higher tire, this anniversary will have been absolutely amazing. That will have been very good. I will have still been annoyed by the jackpot with the gold tablets, but I could have lived with that. But now it's just too much. It's one single spot you need to hit. If you hit it, you get something good, but you still know that a handful of people get something amazing from it that you will never get. And 
I also don't understand why they did it. And I feel even more annoyed that they added a rush tablet to the game just to put them in this one spot. You can go to every five runs and if you land on it, you have like a 0.1% chance of actually getting the rush tablet. Like, what the, what are you thinking? How does that make any sense? It doesn't. And yeah, now something that should have been just a cool thing for anniversary, just leave people feeling salty when they actually got pretty good stuff from landing on it but like if you dingle a carrot and never give it to a person they aren't, aren't going to be happy but yeah that's my take on this bot thanks for watching guys see you next time